Hey guys, Roman from the Look Digital Signage here and welcome to the Integrated Systems Europe 2022 here in Barcelona. This is the first in-person show since the last one which was held back in Amsterdam in 2020. And the uh, last year's show uh, was cancelled due to the COVID restrictions. Uh, this year's show uh, was also under the treat, but uh, after the three months delay, it finally took place. And we are really excited to be here. Well, we spent several hours here shooting uh, the most impressive stands and talking to the guys uh, from those stands. We have asked them three simple questions. The first one, what novelties did they bring to this show? Uh, digital signage media players. They work in every different type of vertical environment, vertical application from corporate to museums to menu boards. And what we're known for in the industry as ultimate reliability, affordability, and our partnerships with hundreds of CMS partners. So content management solutions, content management software. We are the first company develop a video wall player for six output. Now we expand it to even 16 outputs. On the other hand, we also focus on 4Ks. We are the first company that actually introduced 4K players. Display Force now introduced our latest technology, which we brought to Barcelona. That's basically CMS system plus embedded video analytics, which enables you to set up targeted based advertising. On the top of it, we also promote our latest programmatic platform. Uh, our specialty is interactive digital content, enabling teams, even with no development skills at all, to create interactive digital material. Could be museum exhibitions, sales pitches, retail point of sale. Uh, probably more than half our customers are agencies and integrators. They have their own clients, they're building material for them. Uh, so I guess that's what makes us unique, is that interactive angle. Uh, lots of traditional digital signage were more about the interactive side of things. We now have a 0.88 millimeter LCD video wall. We just launched a new totem product. So it's a floor mount display with an LED inside. It can go one or two sides. And then we've got an L, uh, LCD version at 3000 nit brightness that's single sided. We also have our new 9000 series LED product available and that's in 1.2 millimeter, 1.5, and 1.9 millimeter pixel pitch. Great for the retail market. We are showing um, world premieres on our UC products, so that will include webcams, speaker phones, and conference bars. So that's something really new for our integrators. We're really, really pleased to, to demonstrate that. As an integrator, you can actually supply an eArma display, an eArma slot PC, and have all of the peripheral products around that now. So that's a really strong plus point for us. Some of the other features um, on our stand are the new 62 series PCAP displays. So these are PCAP uh, displays from 43, 55, 65 inch, all containing Android operating systems. Uh, first and foremost is our latest Bravia professional display lineup. We have a complete range of lineups with professional applications for all different, a variety of different segments. From our BZ30 lineup, which is typical uses of uh, digital signage or retail environments, to our BZ40 lineup, which is our flagship lineup. But in this lineup now, we have a complete range of displays from 32 inches right the way to 100 inches, all the way in 4K HDR resolution. So Sony picture quality at its finest. And last of all, we have our flagship product on display behind me, which you can see, uh, which is our two crystal LED solutions. So these are our LED video walls. Behind me, you'll see our uh, crystal LED B series, which is our 1.5 pixel pitch, 1800 nits, uh, 137 inches. A typical use case for this is actually various different uses like virtual production. So a lot of production companies now are utilizing this instead of going to set on location, uh, they're using this uh, instead of also a green screen to really bring that uh, a solution for the content creators where it can be flexible with content. So the second one was what market trends will lead the industry within the next couple of years? The trends, we're going to continue developing our, our LFD signage offering. Digital signage is a big part of what our partners want to see. So. Our partnership with Ensign, who are um, the, the, the digital signage platform on our Android system. Uh, we perceive that uh, more and more often people are going to want to engage with the content directly 
And that might be one of the side effects of the pandemic, is this greater hesitation to interface with people. Maybe there's a little more interest in self-service, in uh, getting the information and products I want without having to interact with someone directly. Key trends for the industry, obviously, is advancement in the media player technology, which we're always working on as a company, but also partnerships with interactive um, sensor providers. This is a great example of one where you can do a retail solution, lift up a product, and see information about the product on screen. So we do believe that the retail experience is changing and people want more of an experience as opposed to speaking with a, a sales rep in the store. Signage now is more important than ever with the different retail experiences that we're having. A variety of not only static content, but much more interactive content now uh, that, that the companies are going to have to navigate around. So The retail market has really been going gangbusters. That's why we released the Totem and our LED products. We've been getting a lot of uh, sales into the uh, retail market, education market. Uh, also, QSR has been a very strong market for us with menu boards, with our traditional products, uh, like the ones we use with uh, Look Digital Signage. They have integrated their application on our SOC displays and you're able to load it right onto the display. You don't need an external media player. It makes for a very efficient uh, solution out in the market without any cable clutter. How do they find this show comparing to the last one which was held back in Amsterdam two years ago? When we compare this year to before the pandemic, often the size is smaller. A lot of companies cannot come, especially in China and Shanghai, I think. Yes. Uh, or Taiwan, the pandemic is on the rise. Uh, we think this show is, we're, we're pleasantly surprised by the traffic at this show. We came knowing that we need to get back into events. It's one of our key uh, initiatives for marketing at BrightSign. And we're pleasantly surprised. There's a lot of traffic. We see a lot of customers that we know, but we're seeing a lot of new people as well. So a much bigger venue. Uh, it's brilliant that caters for so many more people. So actually, even so, even so far today especially, it's been incredibly busy, uh, seeing a lot of familiar faces, but also lots of new faces as well. The venue makes total sense, right? They outgrew the venue in Amsterdam. We needed more room, and uh, this seems to be a great facility. I'm a big fan of Barcelona. I guess yeah. that's a personal preference, uh, getting to know the city a little bit. So, so far, so good. It's only been a couple of days. I haven't been on the metro yet, so I hope to try that and see the city a little bit more, but uh, big fan so far. It's a change. It's a big change. I think logistically there have been some, uh, some issues we have to overcome because we have a European office in, in Netherlands. But actually the venue itself is fantastic. The transport, the travel has been brilliant. The weather is obviously a very, very good thing. We're very happy with that. So uh, yeah, long may it continue and um, yeah, hola Barcelona. We think that this show looks really amazing. Uh, to be honest, uh, it is obvious that moving to Barcelona gave the exhibition a new breath. I believe that the next year it will become even more successful with bigger number of exhibitors. And that is all for today. Uh, put the fingers up and subscribe to the channel. See you, bye.